UFOs are real and they are a threat to national security. It involves talk of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still in the program. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if we're truly alone in the universe? What if I told you that evidence of extraterrestrial life might have been captured throughout our history? Today, we dive deep into the archives to uncover photos that challenge our understanding of reality. From unexplained sightings to mysterious figures, these images have sparked debates and curiosity for decades. Stay tuned as we explore the possibility that these alien photos from history could prove they're real. Number 10. The Westall UFO Encounter, 1966. The Westall UFO Encounter is among the most notable and extensively recorded UFO sightings in Australia. Around 200 children and teachers from two schools saw an unidentified flying object descend into a nearby open field on April 6, 1966, and then lift off at an astonishing speed in a Melbourne neighborhood. A silver or gray saucer-shaped vehicle with five smaller planes accompanying it was described as the object. The area was blocked off, and authorities were on the scene promptly. The Australian government dismissed the incident despite the great number of witnesses, and no adequate explanation was ever given. Reports of individuals in suits contacting witnesses and telling them not to discuss what they had seen, as well as the seizure of a student's photos of the UFO, added to the mystery surrounding the occurrence. The incident remains a source of fascination and speculation, highlighting the enduring mystery of UFOs and the government's uneasy relationship with such phenomena. Number 9. Lubbock Lights, 1951 Over Lubbock, Texas, in August of 1951, an enigma appeared in the skies that is still one of the most well-documented and unexplained events in UFO history. This incident gained national notice due to the fact that both locals and Texas Tech college professors reported seeing an odd formation of lights. Texas Tech science professors reported witnessing a fast-moving semicircle of lights floating overhead when they first noticed the event. Their academic credentials provide a striking contrast to the common perceptions that UFO sightings are only fantasies. Bright and bluish green, the lights were said to be traveling in a perfect arc over the night sky. Similar reports began to surface from all throughout the region within days, including a groundbreaking photo taken by a student named Carl Hart Jr., who managed to get a sequence of shots that clearly showed the unusual arrangement of lights. After looking into the Lubbock Lights, the Air Force's Project Blue Book, a series of methodical investigations of unexplained flying objects, came to the conclusion that the phenomenon was probably caused by a natural event. Specifically, it was suggested that the lights were plovers, a kind of bird, reflecting the glow of Lubbock's new street lamps. The Lubbock Lights case, which embodies the conflict between official explanations and the evidence of reliable witnesses, continues to be a landmark in UFO lore. Number 8. The 1965 UFO Incident in Kecksburg Residents in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania saw a dazzling fireball speed across the sky on the evening of December 9, 1965, and then it crashed into the core of a mystery surrounding UFOs that is still unsolved. Witnesses mentioned seeing a big metallic acorn-shaped object with odd patterns surrounding its base that resembled hieroglyphic writing partly buried in the earth. After the device was taken on a flatbed truck, witnesses said that the military had promptly blocked off the area. The official line of explanation was that no evidence was discovered. This did not, however, significantly stop the rumors and conjecture that had already started to circulate. Over the years, theories about the Kecksburg object have ranged from a Soviet satellite to a secret Nazi weapon and even a genuine extraterrestrial spacecraft. The mystery of what fell in Kecksburg remains unanswered despite multiple investigations, including a lawsuit that forced NASA to divulge pertinent documents, which proved inconclusive. 
The episode, which has become a mainstay of UFO mythology, represents the conflict between public access to information and government secrecy. Number 7. Solway Firth Spaceman, 1964 One of the most fascinating riddles surrounding the UFO phenomenon was revealed in 1964 during a routine family outing. Jim Templeton, an English firefighter from Carlisle, captured this picture of his daughter on the Solway Firth on a bright day. When Templeton developed the picture, he was shocked to see his daughter standing behind what seemed like a spaceman. The man stood out sharply against the rural background, dressed in what appeared to be a space suit. Templeton was emphatic that no one else was present when he took the picture, and the Kodak Film Company corroborated his assertion that the picture had not been altered. The image attracted attention from all across the world and sparked rumors about alien visitation. To further cloud the picture, Templeton claimed to have had a visit from two people posing as federal officials who asked him questions regarding the picture. They went by the names number 11 and number 12. The mystery behind the Solway Firth Spaceman is still intriguing even after several ideas have been put out over the years, including optical illusions and misidentifications of individuals. It embodies the attraction of the unexplained and the human propensity to gaze up at the heavens with wonder and curiosity, and it serves as a tribute to the era's preoccupation with space flight and the unknown. Number 6. Roswell Incident, 1947 in the summer of 1947, something happened close to Roswell, New Mexico, which would serve as the basis for conspiracy theories and UFO legends for many years to come. It all started when rancher W.W. W. Brazel saw strange trash strewn all over his property. This wreckage wasn't your typical wreckage. It was made of materials Brazel was unable to identify, which added to the mystery and intrigue. With a swift move, the military made the first announcement from Roswell Army Airfield, stating they had found a flying disc. However, this statement was abruptly retracted, replaced with the explanation that the debris was from a crashed weather balloon. This sudden change in narrative fueled speculation and suspicion, leading many to believe that the government was covering up the recovery of an extraterrestrial spacecraft and its occupants. Investigations and public interest in the Roswell incident have waxed and waned over the years, yet it remains a pivotal moment in UFO history. The continuing curiosity and skepticism surrounding the prospect of alien visitation are best summed up by the Roswell incident. It has inspired countless books, documentaries, and movies, cementing its place in the annals of popular culture and continuing to inspire questions about our place in the universe and the existence of otherworldly visitors. Number 5. Zimbabwe School Encounter, 1994 One of the most compelling encounters in UFO history took place in September 1994 at the Ariel School in Rua, Zimbabwe. During their morning break, more than 60 schoolchildren saw a UFO land and two beings emerge from it. The children received messages about environmental destruction and humanity's path from the thin, roughly one-meter-tall entities with big black eyes through telepathy. This incident is notable for the number and consistency of the eyewitness accounts, coming from children with no apparent motive to fabricate such a detailed story. I saw, um... I saw the little black men, they, were, they had long, longish hair and it was all black and they had big black eyes. That's all I saw, I saw a glimpse. The kids were interviewed by psychiatrist Dr. John Mack, a Harvard Medical School professor and an expert on the psychological consequences of reported extraterrestrial encounters. The incident became much more mysterious when his inquiry revealed that the children's statements were reliable and consistent. Number 4. Travis Walton Abduction, 1975 One of the most well-researched and contentious cases in the history of UFO phenomena is the abduction of Travis Walton. A young forestry worker named Travis Walton vanished in Arizona's Apache Sitgreaves National Forest on November 5, 1975. Five days later, Walton made a comeback and claimed to have been kidnapped by aliens. Walton reported that he saw a saucer-shaped object hovering over the ground while out on a logging trip with his logging team. 
Walton approached the vehicle out of curiosity, and all of a sudden it erupted into a bright light that rendered him comatose. Terrified by what had happened, his colleagues left the area. Walton was nowhere to be seen when they and the police returned. Walton described his experiences on the craft as involving interactions with both conventionally alien-looking and humanoid beings who examined him medically before sending him back to Earth. Multiple polygraph tests that he and his colleagues took verified his narrative, and the extraordinary public scrutiny and attention it garnered have sparked a great deal of discussion regarding its veracity. Because of the volume of eyewitnesses, the subject's missing time, and the tangible proof that backs up Travis Walton's allegations, the abduction case is unique. It has sparked decades of discussion over its veracity and the likelihood of extraterrestrial abduction, serving as the basis for numerous books, documentaries, and movies including 1993's Fire in the Sky. Number 3. Phoenix Lights, 1997. An astounding display of lights lit up the skies over Phoenix, Arizona, drawing the attention of thousands of locals and igniting a mystery that still stands to this day. Witnesses saw a gigantic V-shaped configuration of lights that stretched up to a mile from tip to tip and moved silently across the sky. The Phoenix Lights incident is still among the most well-recorded and extensively observed UFO sightings in history. Two key occurrences comprised the spectacle, a sequence of stationary lights spotted hovering over the Phoenix area, and a triangle shape of light seen traveling over the state. At first, there was a great deal of conjecture and worry because the military and government representatives said nothing. Later, the Air Force attributed the stationary lights to flares dropped by A-10 Warthog aircraft during a training exercise. However, this explanation did not satisfy many witnesses who had observed the colossal silent craft traversing the sky earlier that night. The incident continues to be a focal point for discussions on government transparency, the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation, and the limitations of our understanding of the unknown. Number 2. Rendlesham Forest Incident, 1980 the Rendlesham Forest incident in Suffolk, England, quickly became the United Kingdom's most famous UFO event. In the forest between two military sites, military personnel reported seeing several strange lights over several nights, and some even claimed to have seen a genuine craft of unknown origin. Security personnel saw odd lights falling into the woodland, which is how the event started. They went to investigate, believing it to be a downed aircraft, but what they saw was a metallic, shining object moving through the trees. The device was said to have a pulsating light and be written with unidentified symbols that looked like hieroglyphics. Two nights later, the deputy base commander, Letien Cole Charles Halt, led a team into the forest in response to further sightings. They detected high levels of radiation in the area where the craft was seen, and Halt himself witnessed a star-like object zigzagging through the sky. Strong proof of the meeting may be found in his official note to the UK Ministry of Defense, MOD and OD, as well as in a tape recording produced during the investigation. Official explanations for the sightings attribute them to misidentified natural phenomena like lighthouse beams or stars, but the witnesses are sure that they saw something that could only be alien. Number 1. Belgian UFO Wave, 1990 the Belgian UFO wave, which began in 1990, was an extraordinary series of UFO sightings that occurred throughout Belgium. Over several months, thousands of witnesses reported seeing large, silent, triangular objects flying at low altitudes. These sightings rank among the best documented UFO events in history since they were verified by radar, law enforcement, and military pilots. The phenomenon reached its zenith on March 30, 1990, after F-16 aircraft from the Belgian Air Force were sent to intercept and identify the unidentified objects. The pilots could not lock on to the UFOs, which defied the capabilities of conventional aircraft, with their extraordinary agility and speed, even with advanced tracking equipment. The radar contacts and visual confirmations pointed to a solid mass object 
that was able to accelerate quickly and do maneuvers that were beyond the capabilities of current human technology. Because of its size, the reliability of the witnesses, and the military's direct interaction with the unexplained objects, the Belgian UFO wave continues to be noteworthy. The Belgian Air Force's openness in discussing the encounters along with the release of radar data and reports provided a rare glimpse into how governments might respond to unidentified aerial phenomena. The origins of the triangular UFOs seen during the Belgian UFO wave are still unknown despite much research. The events of 1990 continue to intrigue and puzzle researchers, serving as a powerful reminder of the mysteries that still lie beyond our understanding and control, challenging our perceptions of reality and our place in the cosmos.